Snot Stew by Bill Wallace, read by Mrs. Louderback. Chapter 1. Our mama was the best mama in the whole wide world. She did all sorts of stuff for us. She gave us milk so we would grow up to be big and strong, and she gave us baths with her tongue, which was dry and rough, but it felt good anyway. When we got older, she quit giving us milk and caught mice for us. Mice are about the yummiest thing in the whole world. They're made up of all sorts of good, healthy things, like meat and bones, with lots of fiber, vitamins, and minerals. They taste real good, and they're fun to play with, too. Don't play with your food, Mama always said, unless it's a mouse, then it's okay. She'd bring the mice back to our house, a soft pile of hay in a wooden box in the barn. Mama said it was an old ice box. Usually cats don't live in ice boxes, but this one had been left in the Burker's barn for so long that a hole had rotted on the side. We used the hole as our door and nobody ever moved the ice box, so it was a perfect place for a home. Besides, Mama said, it's warm in the winter and cool in the summer. Mama made us watch while she gave herself a bath. She said, that we would need to learn how to take baths by ourselves before too long. We didn't know what she meant, not until the day she came home and told us she was leaving. We all laughed and climbed each other oh, and tumbled and swatted as we rushed to greet her at the door to get the mouse she brought. Only this time there was no mouse. I'm leaving, Mama said flatly. We laughed again. Chris jumped on Mama's back so she would play with him but she didn't play. She swatted him real hard and knocked him rolling against the side of our house. I'll be away for a few days, and when I come home, come back, you must be gone. But why, Mama, we all meowed at once. This is our home. This is my home, Mama answered. I'm going to have another family, and I need my home for raising my babies. You're old enough and big enough to be out on your own. But Mama, we moaned. I've taught you how to catch mice. I've taught you how to take a bath. I've warned you about people and how you can't trust them and how it's best to stay away from them. I've told you about Butch, the Burke's dog, and how mean and nasty he is and how he would just love to eat a soft, juicy kitten. I've taught you all that I can. It's time for you to grow up and leave home. Then she turned and squeezed out the door. We all meowed and begged her to come back. She didn't. After a while, we talked it over and decided that Mama was only teasing and that she really would come back because she had always taken care of us. The next morning, Mama wasn't back. We meowed louder that day, meowed and meowed and meowed. Only Mama never came with our mouse. She never came to give us a bath. I've had it, Chris meowed on the second morning Mama was gone. He swished his tail in big circles as he looked out the hole in the side of our icebox. I'm hungry. I can catch my own mouse. Then he left. That afternoon, Tiffany left too. She wasn't as sure of herself as Chris, but she was just as hungry. Then Jeff left that night, and so did Lisa. Toby and I were the only ones who stayed. We cried and meowed all night. The next morning, we cried and meowed even more. I don't ever remember being so hungry or so lonely. I guess Mama really isn't coming back, I told Toby. He buried his face in his paws. No, she isn't, he finally meowed. He had such a sad look on his face, I could hardly stand it. So I jumped on his back, hoping that a little romp would make him feel better. Only Toby didn't want to play. He just lay there and let me bite his ears. What are we going to do, Kiki, he moaned. I lay down beside him. I swished my tail against his ear. I guess we have to grow up, I meowed. I guess we have to leave home or we'll starve. We cried and meowed some more. But before we could leave, a terrible thing happened. Our house began to rock. It creaked and moaned. The walls lifted on one side, then another. All at once, the whole side of our house was gone. Light flooded in. 
Toby and, and I froze. We huddled together, pressing ourselves as hard as we could against each other for safety. There was a loud boom. Our house fell over and we were left out in the open on the floor of the big barn.